Hello and happy Wednesday, my fantastic fourth grade readers. In writing, we have been writing stories in our writer's notebook about small moments. Can you think back to that and remember the small moments that you've been writing about? Often we've been thinking about times that we get in trouble, sometimes with our siblings or our families. And that made me think about a time when I was little and I got in a big argument with my mom about tomatoes. My mom was making me one of my favorite lunches when I was little, which was a grilled cheese sandwich with um, tomato soup. Have you ever had that before? Um, and when she was making it, she told me that the tomato soup was basically just like melted ice cream because it was fruit and milk. And I asked, where? Where is the fruit? And she said, the tomatoes. But I didn't believe her at all because I had always heard that tomatoes were vegetables. And she gave me reasons why tomatoes were fruit, but I didn't really listen because I really, really thought that they were vegetables. So after I finished my lunch, I went and I asked my dad, I said, dad, are tomatoes fruits or vegetables? And he said, well, they're vegetables. And that was what I knew was true. So I believed him. And I went back and I told my mom, mom, you're wrong. Tomatoes aren't fruit. Tomatoes are vegetables. But in our class, we've been learning a lot about seeds. And that's brought me back to this question. And I've been thinking about this question a lot. And it also reminds me of how in fourth grade, one of our jobs is to look at things that are going on in the world around us and ask lots of questions and use our scientific minds and our reading minds and our writing minds to figure out um, the answers to those questions that are coming up. So I wanted to go back to this question. Are tomatoes fruit or are tomatoes vegetables with you in our reading lesson today? So to prepare for our reading lesson, we are going to be thinking about that question, are tomatoes fruits or vegetables? And what you are going to need to make sure that you are ready for today's lesson is right here on my iPad. You are going to need your blue reader's notebook, the one that looks like this, and you are going to need something to write with and a highlighter. So you can go ahead and get those things. You can pause the video now and go and make sure that you have your materials because that's one of the super fun things about online schools. We can just pause our videos, pause our learning and go grab what we need. So go ahead and grab your materials um, and you can pause the video now if you need to do that. And once you come back and you are ready for our read aloud, you are going to turn to this page in your reader's notebook. So it's pretty far. Um, if I have my reader's notebook right, right here. It's pretty far in our reader's notebook. It's like more than halfway through. And what helps me find it is there's this bubblegum machine page. Do you see that, that bubblegum machine? It is the page right after that with this cool bubble that kind of reminds me of a comic book. Have you ever seen that in a comic book before? Well, they'll say like pow or bam, like the sound words we've been learning about in our writing. Um, go ahead and look for this page that looks like this and turn to it. And the first thing, we're going to use this page as we do our reading today to think about our question, which is, are tomatoes fruit or are they vegetables? So we are going to write this question to remind us, um, to remind us as we do our read aloud today, we are going to put this question right up here to remind us what we are thinking about. So are tomatoes fruit or vegetables. So write that question nice and big on top. Are tomatoes fruit or vegetables? And to get our brains activated, to get our brains thinking, we are going to go back to one of our favorite reading strategies and we are going to think about what we already know that we can bring into all of this important thinking that we're going to do during our read aloud. So we're going to use these two boxes up top right here. So go ahead and find them. Find them with your eyes on my page and then find them in your page. And we are going to label them. These are gonna be about what we already know. So we are gonna label them. What I know about fruit and then the other one will be what I know about vegetables. So have your labels right there. Maybe you want, we've been learning about giving, um, about making sure that we can tell what our labels and our titles are. So I'm going to give mine my favorite thought bubble around it. So I know that that's going to be 
the title right here. We'll put some thought bubbles here. And remember, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause your video and make sure that you have plenty of time to catch up um, and make sure that you're following along in your reading notebook too. So after you have your page all set up, you've got your question, are tomatoes fruit or vegetable? We are going to go ahead and start filling in what we already know about fruit and what we already know about vegetables. So I want you to go ahead and take some time to do that. I'm gonna tell you about some things that I think I already know about fruits and vegetables and I'm gonna write them on here. You can write what I'm writing, but I want you to add your own ideas too because you've experienced fruit, you've experienced vegetables and you have awesome ideas to bring to the table. So you're gonna add those on your page. So something that I already know about fruit is that fruit is usually pretty sweet. Has anybody else noticed that? Like the flavor of fruit is really sweet. So that's something that I would know here. And then for vegetables, they're not usually as sweet. So I'm gonna put that they're not sweet here. And then something else that I know about fruit is that it is seasonal. Like, have you ever noticed that before? Like if you go to the grocery store, sometimes there are like certain berries that are there um, because they grow in different seasons of the year. So fruits are vegetables, but now that I'm thinking about it, vegetables are seasonal too. And what that means is just that they're ready at different times of the year. So right now in the fall, we have lots of squash um, and pumpkins and things like that that are, a bit, that are um, seasonal. And then if I am thinking about fruit, something else that I already know about fruit is I think about where I store it in my apartment because I'm sitting right here in my apartment. And I remember that I usually store fruit in a fruit bowl on the counter. So I usually store it in a fruit bowl on my counter. Does anybody else do that too? And then if I'm thinking about, if that's where I store fruit, then I'm gonna think about where I usually store my vegetables. And I usually store those in my refrigerator. So store, or I could say keep them. And remember, I'm just shortening this because they're just notes for me. So I keep them in the fridge. Keep vegetables in the fridge and fruit on the counter. It's an interesting difference, isn't it? And then if I want to think about like why I eat these things, I know that fruit is full of nutrients. And I also know that they're full of sugar. And then if I'm thinking about vegetables, I also eat them because they're full of nutrients. But remember, they don't have that sweet flavor, so they aren't full of sugar, but they are full of nutrients. So once you have your list ready, make sure that you've added what you already know about both of these. Maybe you've put some examples of things that you know are fruit and vegetables, like fruit would be oranges, berries, bananas. And then some examples of vegetable might be like broccoli, Um, let's see what else, lettuce. So you can go ahead and add some things there. Now I'm gonna go through and you're gonna take your highlighter and you are gonna think about our question. We're gonna go back to that big question. Are tomatoes fruit or vegetables? And you're gonna highlight things that are true about fruit or about tomatoes. So let's go through our list and we're gonna ask ourselves each time, is this true about a tomato? Is a tomato sweet? No, it's not very sweet. Is it seasonal? Yeah. I actually grew tomatoes on my patio. Does anybody else grow tomatoes? I grew tomatoes out on my patio. Maybe you've grown stuff before too. And it, they're ripe at different times. And tomatoes were just ripe pretty recently at the end of summer. So they are seasonal. I don't store them in a fruit bowl on my counter. Um, and they are full of nutrients, but I don't think they're full of sugar. And they're not one of these examples. So let's go to the vegetables. Not sweet. Are they not sweet? Yes, tomatoes are not sweet maybe a little bit sweet, but to me, I wouldn't say they're like really sweet, like an orange or a berry or a banana. And they're seasonal. I keep them in my fridge and they're full of nutrients. So if I'm looking at this list and I'm thinking about our question, are tomatoes fruits or vegetables? I see why this is a really important question to think about and why we're gonna need to use our reading brains to think more about it. Because now that I'm looking at this, Tomatoes kind of fit on both of these lists, right? So I'm not really sure where they stand with what I already know. So that's why we are going to read a book and we are going to learn some new facts and see if we can get some new facts about tomatoes. So to do that, we're gonna prepare our page 
and we are going to, we have what we know about fruit and vegetables, and now we are going to add what I learned. And we're gonna fill this out as we read our book in just a second. What I learned about fruit on this side and what I learned about vegetables on the other side. I'm gonna get our pages all nice and set up so that we can do our read aloud. And we have a place nice and ready to go where we can organize our thoughts to come back to our question, are tomatoes fruit or vegetables? So you can go ahead and get your page set up. Um, make sure that you are all ready to go. You can pause the video if you need to. Um, today, the reason that we are doing this thinking is because we are learning that awesome readers, they think about questions while they read, like this question right here. But an even more awesome thing that you can do when you read is you can think about the information that's being presented and you can think about making a claim which is a really strong, like a strong opinion about the topic. So that's the work that we're doing here. We are trying to write a claim about are tomatoes fruit or vegetables. We're trying to say tomatoes are fruit or tomatoes are vegetable. So we're trying to make a claim. And the really awesome thing that readers do is they have a claim about their topic, a strong opinion. And then they make sure that they back their opinion up with facts that they learn. So we're going to make a claim to this question right here. And then we're going to collect some strong facts that we can use to support our claim. So now that we have our page all nice and set up, we are ready to record our learning. I am going to share our book that we are going to read with you today. And this book is on Sora if you want to go and read it too. And it is called Fruit Bowl and it is by Mark Hoffman. Go ahead and take a second and look at the cover. What I'm noticing about the cover is like we were thinking about fruit bowls where we keep our um, fruit and our vegetables in our homes. And I'm thinking about the fruit bowl and I'm noticing the tomato is trying to climb into the fruit bowl. And I'm wondering if the tomato is gonna be allowed because I'm noticing there's a sign that says no veggies allowed. So is that tomato a fruit or is it a vegetable? That comes back to our question in our reader's notebook again. So let's go ahead and get started. And remember as you read that we are searching for evidence and we are trying to figure out a claim to support our question. Really cool inside cover with some tomatoes. Fruit Bowl by Mark Hoffman. Honey, will you make sure the fruits and veggies are put away? Sure, mom. That reminds me of all the awesome dialogue you've been using in your memoir writing. Hey fruits, how's everyone doing? Fantastic, peachy keen, full of zest, all good. I was jammed in that bag. Awesome, and you? Great, everybody is here. Apple, peach, banana, lemon, and orange. Are you finding them in the picture, the different fruits? Oh pear, I'm glad you're back in season. Strawberry and grapes, always a pleasure. Looking good, lime. Did blueberry get crushed? Down here. And tomato. Wait a second, tomato? This reminds me of my reaction to my story that I shared at the beginning when my mom told me a tomato was a fruit. What are you doing here? This is a fruit bowl. You belong in the fridge with the other vegetables. What? I am a fruit. Who's he kidding? Nice try, tomato, but you're being kind of saucy and sour. It's not appealing. You'll have to split. Do you notice some of these things that are kind of funny expressions or things that they're saying? You're being kind of saucy. Why is that funny? It's an apple and applesauce. Then this one's saying and sour and he's a lime or lime sour. It's not appealing and he's an orange and you peel an orange. And then the banana saying you'll have to split. Why is that one funny? Now, what are you doing? Get in the fridge or you'll go bad. Remember what we wrote in our notebooks that we usually keep vegetables in the fridge. So they're telling the tomato that he needs to go in the, in the fridge or he'll go bad. I don't belong in here. Wait, hold on just a second. Aha. Uh -huh. I can prove it. 
Oh, that tells me that we might be getting some evidence soon. He's saying he's going to prove it, which means he should be giving us some evidence. Um, can I help you? So you all know what makes you fruits, right? How we all started out as flowers. Oh, my mother told me I was a beautiful flower. My flower was the best of the bunch. Have we learned some evidence on this page? Do you see some evidence on this page? Can you go ahead and add it to your notebook? Have you learned anything about fruit or about vegetables on this page? Go ahead and add it to your notebook now. What I added to my notebook was that fruits start as flowers. We'll have to see if that's true for vegetables too. Go ahead and make sure you've added to your reading notebook. So wouldn't all vegetables be fruit since they come from flowering plants? Vegetables come from other parts of the plant besides the fruit. So they come from the leaves and the petals, the stems and the roots. So there are some examples there. So now is there something that you've learned here that you wanna add to your notebook about maybe vegetables? I'm gonna go ahead and add to my notebook and I want you to do this along with me. Remember, we're rewriting in our own words. What I'm adding to my notebook is the vegetables come from other parts of the plant, like the leaves, petals, stems, and roots. So we've learned that fruit starts as flowers and vegetables come from other parts of the plant is what I've added to my notebook. And look at this, those spots, those are my seeds. It's how we make more fruits. Oh, are you all right? Oh, have you learned something here? I learned here that fruit has seeds. He's so passionate, I'm getting teary. Let us have a closer look at that. I can't believe my eyes. How did he get an x-ray? I was wondering that question too. Were you wondering that question? I needed an x-ray when I broke my stem. Where's his heart? Okay, fine, that may be true, but you're, you're not sweet. Remember we wrote that in our, in our ideas too. How dare you? Are cranberries sweet? Is grapefruit sweet? I like to think so. So that makes me think about something else that I learned. Is there anything you want to add to your notebooks here? I'm noticing that the examples that I was thinking about fruit were all sweet, but now it's giving us some examples like cranberries and grapefruit that aren't sweet either. So maybe fruit isn't always sweet like we wrote. So I added that there, that they're not all sweet. Isn't there anyone else who can settle this? There's the legend of old man produce. They say he is hidden in this very kitchen. He must be ripe. He'll know, let's go find him. Shh, everybody quiet. Fruits, vegetables, your travels have brought you to me. Though it is not the adventure you desire, but rather knowledge. What truths do you seek? Is tomato a fruit? I'm asking our question too. Well, that is the question of all questions. If the tomato is not a fruit, is he not delicious? If the tomato is not a fruit, is he not healthy? Does he not have juice like you? You need to look inside yourself and ask why any of us are fruit. Fruit is more than Yes or no? Yes. I wish I was back on the vine. Well, then tomato does belong in the bowl. I knew it all along. Welcome home. Are there any other vegetables that are fruits in disguise? So they're calling the tomato here fruit in disguise. Funny, you should ask. These are all fruits. 
is this surprising to anyone else? This is super surprising to me when I read it. It makes me want to go look in my kitchen and figure out what is a fruit and what is a vegetable. These are all fruits. It was a bit chilly in the fridge. This will be a snap. I'm glad we cleared that up. My name is very confusing. Eggplant, is that a confusing name? What a pickle we were in. That fridge was the pits. Woohoo! I was so squashed in there. That makes me think of some things that I want to add to my fruit list that I did not know were fruit. Like I didn't know that an eggplant was fruit or the peppers that are there. Avocado I'm seeing. Squash. I'm going to add those to my list because those are surprising examples of fruit to me. So you can all stay, I guess. Hooray! Yay, thanks, tomato. My hero. Now, this is so cozy. And there they are all together in the bowl. Then the vegetables in the fridge are saying, why don't we get our own bowl? Those veggies are just greens with envy. Have you ever heard that phrase before? Saying something is green with envy means that it's like really jealous. By the way, you're welcome. And there's the end of our book. And it tells us about the author. Mark Hoffman is neither a fruit nor a vegetable. In fact, he's a professor at Monstrat College of Art in the illustration department. His first book you can read was written by Helene Becker. Fruit Bowl is the first book written by Mark and he both wrote and illustrated. And he is very proud. All right, so now we have our page all filled out. We have our question at the top, are tomatoes fruits or vegetables? We thought about what we knew about fruit and what we know knew about vegetables. And then we added in lots of things as we read. What we are going to do now is we are going to grab our highlighter. So go ahead and find your highlighter. I'm looking for my highlighter. I don't know where my highlighter went, so I'm gonna grab another one. You're gonna grab your highlighter and you are gonna go back to what you learned. And we are gonna think about tomatoes and what we know about tomatoes. And we're gonna figure out what our claim is gonna be. We're gonna look at this evidence that we've collected here and we're gonna figure out, does the evidence, what claim does it support? So do tomatoes start as flowers? Yes, we learned in the book that they do. Do tomatoes have seeds? Yes, remember the x-ray when we saw all of its seeds? And they're not all sweet. Check. Our tomato is not sweet. And then we learn that vegetables come from other parts of the plant, like the leaves, petals, stems, and roots. The tomato does not, is not, does not come from the leaf, the petal, the stem, or the root. It is, in fact, the flower. So go ahead and look what you have. Maybe you have different. Make that come back. There we go. Um, go ahead and look at your evidence that you have collected. And we are gonna write in the middle of this cool bubble right here, we are gonna write our claim. So your claim is gonna be one of two things. You are answering the question, the claim remember is a strong statement in response to our question. So we are saying, are tomatoes fruit or vegetables? So your claim will be tomatoes are, and then you will fill in here, you will fill in that line, are they fruit or are they vegetables? Go ahead and fill that in. Put your claim, your nice strong claim in the center. Maybe you want to write it in big bold words that you know that it is your important claim that you want to put right there in the center of your page. Go ahead and do that right now. And then I am going to share with you what your seesaw assignment for today will be. Your seesaw assignment is going to be two parts. The first one is going to look like this. You are going to tell us what your claim is. You are going to state your claim right here. A tomato is a, and you're gonna say if it's a fruit or a vegetable, and then you are gonna give us some evidence that is, and remember that is facts that support your claim. You've already collected your evidence from our reading together, it's gonna to be what you've highlighted is your evidence that supports that claim that you are writing. And the other part to your seesaw assignment, I'm gonna pull that up. The other part of your seesaw assignment looks like this, and you will just 
take a picture of this page that we created together during the read aloud and turn that in. And you will make sure, remember that when you take that picture for Seesaw, you are gonna take that and you are gonna fill up the page, put it nice and close to the camera so we can see the whole thing and get it the whole thing in the page. So you are gonna go ahead and get ready to go on that. So. Remember readers, the reason we did this important work is because we as fourth graders, it's really important that we are looking at the world around us and asking these important questions and then using our reading to find answers to these important questions. And then whenever we want to share our answers to these questions, we can make sure that we have a strong claim um, that tells people what we think about the topic and that we give strong evidence that supports that claim. Awesome job readers and I will see you on Seesaw and we will be talking more about this in class tomorrow. Great work, awesome critical thinkers.